WA has recorded a second straight day of zero local cases following a record 16,000 tests during day one of lockdown. Tonight we have learned that patient zero was most likely infected while delivering medicine to a quarantine traveller carrying the potent UK strain of COVID-19. First, the good news about our lockdown. No new local cases of COVID-19. Then the bad. My expectation is it will go the full five days. Um, I realise that is debilitating and difficult. And after that, it all got a bit ugly. Just on a point of clarification with regards to information provided yesterday, uh, the security guard told his employer that he was sick on the 30th of January, not the 28th, as I previously advised. Which means a fact was now fiction and any criticism of the security company's handling of their workers' situation was not justified. The guard told them he was feeling unwell and got tested for coronavirus the same day. What we must do is not run on rumour. We must run on fact. We always do that. And today, a key fact was revealed about how the security guard likely caught the highly infectious UK strain of the virus from a guest in quarantine at the Four Point Sheraton. We are advised the guard did deliver medication to the door of this particular quarantine guest. But no one could say if the guard was wearing a mask and other protection when he went to the person's room on January 24. We haven't had the opportunity uh, since getting that information, because it's quite fresh, about the circumstances of that interaction. A quarantining guest claimed masks appeared to be an accessory, not a necessity. In the hallway, they, we haven't, I haven't recognised anyone wearing masks at that point with the exception of when we checked in. Look, uh, security guards or any personnel in a hotel quarantine don't need to wear masks in, at every point um, of that building and at every point of them carry out their duties. More than 16,400 people were tested by day two of lockdown, 151 considered close contacts, and so far 104 of those have come back negative. Another 68 casual contacts were tested. This is more than double the number of tests completed after the day after the Northern Beaches outbreak in Sydney. Because of the unanswered questions about this COVID-19 case, the hotel at the centre of it will no longer manage overseas passengers in quarantine. And those still in there won't be able to leave until they return negative tests. It's been a confronting week of COVID and now a catastrophic fire for the McGowan government to manage. Tomorrow, the government goes into caretaker mode only ahead of the March election. These are testing and nervous times, Tracey. Indeed they are. Gary, thank you.